Hey guys, what's happening? So, I hope you can see my 3D printer here, but um, I originally had done a uh, linear rail conversion, and before I knew how to 3D or a 3D model, I, I used to adapt other people's designs, and as you can see, I didn't really like this uh, thing I had to do here, so I designed some new parts. So, if you have like a CR10 or any sort of Crowley, um, what's it called, the Ender 3, which actually has like the, the wheel pattern, I'll take this off and I'll show it to you, but there's a six bolt patterns for the actual wheels. Um, this will actually work with that. That's what these are for to line up with that. And I'll show you that, but this originally was an ANET E10 printer, but I expanded it. I widened the, the uh, printer up, and then the best value of like a heated bed and this plate was a Creality one. So I tried to convert it originally, but it didn't really... I mean, it got kind of a little bit loose, but I wanted to design something a little bit better. Plus, because my, my belts were down here, I couldn't get the full range of, of my bed. This is a 310 by 310 bed. Yeah, so I wanted to raise the bed up. This is going to raise the bed up just a little bit. And then I'll lower this down, the separation. But All right, so i got to get this off. Um, i got to take the bed off here. Like I said, I originally had adapt, adapted other people's designs. So this is the concept. It's going to be like that. Alright, so I actually have the uh, dual. It's a smaller version of the, uh, I think it's like the M12. I think it's called the M12C. But it's smaller, it's like 15 millimeter apart between the actual things here. And then on the back of it, I actually have it threaded where uh, the hex nuts here for the uh, M5. So pop those in before you actually get these on there, make it a lot easier. Okay, so to mount the truck, you're going to need some 8 millimeter M3 screws. Make sure you use some uh, thread locker too. So as you can see, I have a much bigger stable platform, so I'm actually going to bring this out about an inch too. Um, that way it's even actually wider and more stable. Alright, there it is guys. Take a look. So I'm actually going to be upgrading from a 6mm belt to a 10mm belt too. Give this thing a little more stability. It's still a little bit tight in there. Like, so I'm going to need the extra torque. Plus the, the smaller belt seems to stretch a lot. It's more, it's more uh, like springy. So I want the thicker belt. Yeah, with these large printers, like these big axes like this, these, this huge bed, it's always a nightmare with ghosting on the Y-axis. So, yeah, I'm actually printing out the extruder mount right now for it. But, all right, cool. Yeah, if you want these uh, adapters, then they're gonna be uh, a link down below on my Thinkiverse page. So if you have a CR-10, um, or like a, what's it called, CR-10, Ender 3 or at the Ender series, it should fit with those. Any any printer with the with the wheels, the three wheels in the bottom.